Aloha, my name is Kara Jabola Karolis, and I am the Executive Director of the Hawaii State Commission on the Status of Women. We're glad to join you as a feminist government agency in the United States. We're charged with restoring the venerated status of women and gender nonconforming people. Since the beginning of patriarchy, since the beginning of class society, women as a gender group have been denied the right to exit servitude denied the right to exit servitude for men and for society. We've been denied the right to exit harmful relationships, denied the right to exit harmful industries such as domestic work and sex work, which are vestiges of women's slavery. As Esperanza Fonseca recently put it, the right to exit is the most denied right in the world today. And capitalism all but ensures that this right will remain elusive for the majority of the world's women. We know this because economic independence and the ability to survive, which requires wages, is a prong, a central prong of the right to exit. And women as a group will never be able to participate in waged work equally to men. The good news is that COVID-19 is presenting an incredible moment of organizing. Women around the world are waking up to the fact that our homemaking, our caregiving, and our love is in fact stolen labor. We're seeing ourselves as a political group that is being exploited to carry the world through COVID-19 and the economic shock that are a result of the crisis. And what are we getting out of it? What we did at the Hawaii State Commission on the Status of Women is to convene a collaborative group of grassroots feminist activists and government officials to create a feminist response team to COVID-19. We've met every single week for the past seven months and together we have not only built a rapid response to the gender contours of the crisis but also developed a plan that is unapologetically feminist to build back out of COVID-19. One of the central components of this plan is finally delivering economic independence and survival to women without a reliance on waged work. How we did this, I will leave to you to read about in Hawaii's Feminist Economic Recovery Plan from COVID-19. I hope you look it up. But at its core, it is really about focusing on values that underscored sustainable societies and sustainable economies. And part of that was leaving behind American values and focusing on what Native and Indigenous women had to say about the way the system is not working and a system that could be working better. So with that, I leave you and thank you for this time to speak with you. And please stay in touch with me, Kara Jabola Karolis, at the Hawaii State Commission on the Status of Women.